Alright, yeah. I thought I'd do part two of this. <clears throat> Seeing as, uh... Well, yeah. They literally tried to take him out. Do you know what I mean? Well, I say they. I'm sure it's going to come out everything to do with the person, but... Yeah, anyway, I thought, seeing as he nearly got assassinated yesterday, let's do Donald Trump's savage moments. Let's go. Okay, question? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. No. She's like in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's President. That's okay, I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Members of Congress are now being tested <laughs> positive for coronavirus. And we, you have almost two dozen who are self-quarantining. Do you um, have any guidance for Congress? Should they? I know all of them, and uh, I don't know if they're sitting like you people are sitting. You're actually sitting too close. You should really. We should probably get rid of about another 75, 80 percent of you. I have just two or three that I like in this room. I think that's a great way of doing it. We just figured a new way of doing it, uh, but you're actually much too close. You know. You two, you should leave immediately. <laughs> well, the Washington Post is going wild lately. I don't know what happened to them. I guess uh, something happened, like we don't call them back or whatever. These are very dishonest uh, media sources. They're very dishonest. I like China, and I like President Xi a lot. I think he's a friend of mine. He may not be a friend of mine anymore, but he, I think he probably respects, uh, from what I hear, if you look at Mr. Pillsbury, the leading authority on China, he was on a good show, I won't mention the name of the show, recently, and he was saying that China has total respect for Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's very, very large uh, brain. It amazes me <laughs> when I read the Wall Street Journal, which is always so negative. Uh, it amazes me when I read the New York Times, it's not even, I don't, I barely read it. You know, we don't distribute it in the White House anymore. And the same thing with the Washington Post. Uh, you had a lot of really nice people running our country over the years. Perhaps I'm not nice, but I'm doing a great job for you. <laughs> this is what I mean, right? If he comes out, carries on the way he's going, he has, like, the greatest um, running point ever. I took a bullet for you lot. This means so much to me. I don't know too many. If I was him, I'd be like, do you know what? I'm going to go and enjoy my millions. I'm an older man. I've got anything I need. I don't need this shit. If he comes out, just carry straight on like nothing happened, which I think he's gonna, then yeah, he is gonna, if he was unstoppable before, good God, he's literally got that. How many of these people would take a bullet and come back out and still, yeah, good God. Well, that's true. Well, he's got a bad habit. Ladies and gentlemen of Ohio, it's great to be with you. Joe, Joe, you're in Iowa. <laughs> that was seven times he's done that. I haven't done it once. And if I did, you know what I'd do? I'd walk off the stage because there's nothing you can do to come back from that. <laughs> you know, uh, he said the other night, this was really a beauty, sleepy pill. He said, guns have killed 150 million people in our country. We killed 150 million people. That's half of our population. <laughs> this is a terrible event. We have to find out what's going on. This is bad. <laughs> this wasn't reported by the fake news. <laughs> um, at what point in the future will any American who wants a test be able to get a test? Because you're talking about not needing a test right now if you're not showing any symptoms, but a lot not of... Not needing the test? Or, or, or only getting tested if um, you're showing symptoms, but a lot of this... So well, no, you, you should only be, get... You uh, should. I didn't have any symptoms that I got a test, but I got a test because you people were driving everybody crazy. <laughs> so that's the only reason. I had no symptoms, but I had a test. 
My doctor <laughs> told me, don't get it. You don't need it. Everybody said, you don't need it. But I had to do it because the press was going crazy. <laughs> and uh, then after I got it, they said, you shouldn't have gotten it. You had no symptoms. You know, the whole thing. <laughs> but I said to our great first lady, first lady, I like calling her first lady. <laughs> I love calling her first lady. Now, see, when I have fun like that, you know what's going to happen? <coughs> That'll be a headline. He calls her first lady. Why are there no consequences for China for the misinformation that they share? How do you know there are no share? consequences? We have been asked today. How do you know there, there are no consequences? What are the consequences, Mr. President? I wouldn't the tell you. China will find out. <laughs> why would I tell you? People are concerned that they stole. No, you started that they off by saying, "Why are there no consequences?" A few times. So follow up on your response. Why are there no consequences? How do you for know China? there are no consequences? You you're going to find said, out. I wouldn't you tell you. You'd probably be the last person on earth I'd tell. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Korea has done five times more tests than the U.S. per capita. Why is that? I don't think that's true. That, that is true. And you said this morning that the White House said the U.S. passes South Korea in virus testing. Who are you with? Uh, Yahoo News. And it's not true per capita. Uh, do you want to respond to that? Do you, if you have the numbers. So to our Yahoo gentlemen, I just want to make it clear that um, South Korea's testing was 11 per per 100,000, and we're at 17 per 100,000. Right. So, Are you going to apologize, Yahoo? That's why you're Yahoo, and nobody knows who that you are. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> um, one for you, and potentially as well, one for your doctor, Dr. Adams. Right now, the economy is essentially shut down. Uh, there's no way that the economy can recover from the impact of this pandemic. Thank you, gentlemen. Stores have closed. Travel <laughs> has slowed down. Go ahead. What's the rest of your question? We know. <laughs> we got some beauties. We got Sleepy Joe. Or we got Crazy Bernie. We got Mini Mike, but I think he's out of it. And that was probably the worst debate performance in the history of presidential debates. Do we agree? Has there ever been anything like that? It just shows you that you can't buy an election. I mean, it just is a point at which people say, you got to bring the goods a little bit, too. You got to bring the good. Boy, did Pocahontas destroy him, I'll tell you. <laughs> she choked. You know, she went out and got a test because I was killing her with a Pocahontas. Remember, I said, I have more Indian blood in me than she does, and I have none. <laughs> I said it. I said it. <laughs> Love to have some, but I have none. <laughs> and she was getting hit with that name, Pocahontas. That was one of the good ones. <laughs> and they said, we want you to apologize for that name. And I did. I apologized. Nobody ever heard me apologize before. I apologized. To the real Pocahontas, I apologize. <laughs> but uh, she was really mean to Minnie Mike, I'll tell you, the way she treated her. He didn't know what hit him. He's going, oh, get me off of this stage. Get me off. Get me off of this stage. <laughs> sure they would like to see a new president in a year and a half so they could continue to rip off the United States like they've been doing for the last 25 years. They would love to see a guy like Sleepy Joe Biden who has no clue what the hell he's doing. They'd say to Sleepy Joe, sir, just sign right there. Oh, Okay. I'll sign. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? Your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? Because it comes say from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all. No, not at all. It comes from China. <laughs> That's why. It comes from China. As you know, China tried to say at one point, Maybe they stopped now. That it was caused by American soldiers. That can't happen. It's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm president. Uh, it comes from China. Amazing. So it's really a fantastic thing. So what I think I do is I'd like to, for the media, I'd like to go around the room and we can do just a quick introduction of each other. 
And uh, I'll start with me. My name is Donald John Trump. <laughs> That was funny that how much he gets called racist. I don't think there was a white person sat around that table. Charge of everything. Yet the American people don't understand why you're unwilling to use the awesome powers of your presidency to make American companies manufacture the PPE and also the testing equipment that you well, need you to with? implement yeah. implement your recommendations. No, no, but who are you with? How to, I'm with uh, TMN. Uh, recommendations for uh, TMN. What is Talk TMN? Media News? What? My name is Doug Christian with Talk Media News. Yes. Talk Media News. Yeah. And go ahead. Keep reading your question. But, uh, the thing is, how to make companies build that was, these testing equipment so that you can do what you want. Well, what we're doing that right now. We're doing it. We're doing it right now with ventilators. We have General Motors. We have General Electric. We have eleven different companies great companies building them for us all over the United States. We're starting to make our own uh, gowns, as they call it. Uh, we're making some incredible things. And as far as the testing is concerned, most of that now is done in the United States. We're doing it in the United States, our different platforms. And uh, so I just don't think well, you were listening. Senators were complaining to, Which uh, to Vice President Which Pence senators? yesterday. Which uh, senators? Well, uh, independent Senator Angus King. He's uh, not an independent, okay? But, Angus King is worse than any Democrat. Go but, ahead. But he said that he was, he, he was livid, actually. Of course that he this, said that. Because he's a, he's a Democrat, okay? Angus King is not an independent. He uses that term for whatever reason. It's a waste of time. But he's not a very emotive type oh, of Oh, yes, senator. he is. You haven't seen him. Okay, you haven't seen him. No. Angus King is a Democrat, and that was totally staged. I heard that. And it was totally staged. Uh, just like you read the question, he read his question. Yeah, please, in the back. You know, they say I'm close to Russia. Hillary Clinton gave... That was... Trump is so genius at this. He's so genius, like, at winning. He Because it's like that. He said, keep on reading the question. It completely undermined that guy. Don't matter how great that question is now. He's already undermined what you're saying because you haven't even got <clears throat> the passion enough to remember what it is. And you could tell that that hit him because then he didn't look at his phone for the whole time. So you can see Trump have made him uncomfortable. And he's now, like, now Trump is completely in control of that guy because that guy is now, like, do you know what I mean? He's literally just took the wind out of him with just that little thing he said. Keep reading your question. So, like, it's genius, right? Whatever, if you don't like his politics, what, but you can't deny, like, in terms of arguing and, do you know what I mean, like, getting the control of the conversation, he's a master at it. But I suppose it comes from, yeah, doing business and things his whole life, but yeah. 20% of the uranium in the United States, she's close to Russia. Can we I gave, you know what I gave to Russia? You know what I gave? Nothing. Can we conclude there'll be no response to these particular provocations? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you anything about what response I do. I don't talk about military response. I don't say I'm going into Mosul in four months. We are going to attack <laughs> Mosul in four months, then three months later. We are going to attack Mosul in one month. Next week, we are going to attack Mosul. I don't talk about military, and I don't talk about certain other things. You're going to be surprised to hear that. And by the way, my whole campaign, I'd say that. Right. So I don't have to tell you. There I don't want to response. be one of these guys that say, yes, uh, here's what we're going to do. I don't have to do that. There I don't have to tell you what I'm going to do in North Korea. Wait a minute. I don't have to tell you what I'm going to do in North Korea. And I don't have to tell you what I'm going to do with Iran. You know why? Because they shouldn't know. And eventually, you guys are going to get tired of asking that question. So when you ask me, what am I going to do with the ship? If 
the Russian ship as an example? I'm not going to tell you. But hopefully, I won't have to do anything. But I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Thanks. Fair point. Uh, can I just ask you, thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, the Where are you from? Uh, BBC. <laughs> okay. Here's another beauty. <laughs> it's a good line. Impartial, free, and fair. Yeah, um, sure. Uh, Mr. President. Just like CNN, right? Um, on the travel <laughs> ban, uh, we could ban you back and forth. To be fair, the um, the BBC in this country has lost all respect, really. Like, and the worst thing about it is it's run is funded by. If you have a telly in your house, you have to pay for that channel. Like, I got a thing through the door the other day saying also it includes if you watch live TV on an iPad or anything like that it still counts you still have to pay the you have to pay a tv license which is literally the reason for that was in the old days so there's no adverts on bbc that was the thing about bbc when there was five channels bbc one and two had no adverts that's why you paid for that basically but yeah, no one likes the BBC. No one in this country like respects them. They've covered up endless amounts of pedos. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, God bless Trump for calling them. Yeah, but yeah, Trump is hilarious. Yeah, he's hilarious. He's just, he is a master at this. He is a black belt in, that's what I mean. Like, debating isn't always necessarily being the more right. It's that you're really not going to make him uncomfortable with anything. He's going to handle it, do you know what I mean? And I thought that point at the end was a great point. Why am I going to tell you what military response I'm going to do? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. It's like a boxer saying to their opponent, I'm going to throw two jabs and then a right hook. Do you know what I mean? It's like the other one can be like, oh, well, thanks. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. I do think Trump's out of hospital as well now. Yeah, that's what I mean. Now he's took a bullet for the country. I mean, Jesus. He is going to be just unstoppable. And you know, unless it's the elite, you know there's never, ever going to be anybody going to get that chance again. No way. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah. That's the reaction. Sweet.